Hi guys. So uh, happy holidays. Um, if you're having a, a family, family gathering and whatnot, um, happy holidays and I hope everybody is um, having a good, safe time. And um, today we're going to talk about um, dog training and human fallacy. So here's what we're going to talk about. Whether it's doing something wrong, whether it's peeing in the house, whether it's digging holes, whether it's doing anything inappropriate. Here's the, what we're going to deal with today is going to teach you how to deal with all those issues and and a lot of the, the difference between how I treat that problem compared to all positive training. Anyway, so um, what we do here is oftentimes we get angry, we get frustrated when the dog do something inappropriate. Fuck, I come home and you've got pee everywhere, right? Or you chewed my couch or you do anything inappropriate. You dug a hole in the backyard. You stupid dog, you shouldn't have done that. You bloody... Right. So we, 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 we use human emotion and human logic to a dog. Okay. And while dogs are really smart and they seem human-like in human behavior and human intelligence, they are dogs. Okay. And dogs don't think like humans. A human child says, oh, you know, mom and dad goes to the toilet and have trained me to go to the toilet, so I shouldn't pee in the house. Dogs don't do that, okay? Dogs go, oh, this looks like unmarked territory. It's a good place for me to mark my territory. Psst, here we go, right? Dogs behave what comes natural to them. So where am I going with this? Where am I going with this is dogs need, like children, coaching and guidance. And what's missing when you get frustrated with your dog is your dog is behaving what comes natural to him or her and you're not giving it timely coaching two words timely coaching let me talk about that timely means you need to catch your dog in the act what you just did there i don't approve right timely not 10 minutes later not two hours later not tomorrow right there and then the only time the dog knows that they did something wrong is when you catch them you did wrong right so timely timely don't do that uh -uh, i'm gonna catch you i'm gonna either kick you out or tell you to knock it off uh -uh, okay so timely you have to intercept the behavior right if you're peeing and i come in and intercept you just to disrupt you you get really annoyed right same thing with the dog you disrupt a dog's behavior they get, oh, I don't like being disrupted when I'm doing my business. Same thing, you gotta catch me in the act and tell them what to do. You need to do that outside, please, not here, outside. Right? You catch me in the act, you always have to catch them in the act. Your fallacy is you don't, you just think that they know better. They don't know better and they need to be reminded again and again and again and again that what you just did there is wrong, you need to do it there. What you just did there is wrong, you're do it. And over time, they will get better in knowing, oh, you don't want me to do that. I'm sorry, I'll go do that there. Timely and correction. Right? You need to tell them what to do. Right? So, timely. I hope that makes sense. You've got to catch me in the act. Digging in the yard, catch them in the act. Oh, but I'm working. Well, then put them in the crash so they don't have the opportunity to do the mistake. Oh, that's cruel. You've got to do what you're going to do to teach them in the act. That when they're doing that stuff, intercept them so that you can catch them in the act key things you can do to catch them in the act monitor them monitor and restrict the activity keep them in the crate when you can't control them and then when you can't control them let them out look at them monitor them keep them on the leash tether them tie them to your body you know so that you when you're washing dishes you can still monitoring um what the dog is doing right Catch them in the act so they can say, uh-uh, don't do that. Here, go outside, do that thing. Right? Catch them in the act. Always, time is very, very important. So, you should have known better is the other fallacy. You should have known better. No, the dog does not know better. The dog needs to be told, here's what I want you to do. That there is wrong. Do this instead. That there is wrong. Do this instead. Teach them what to do when you catch them in the act of doing anything inappropriate. Don't do it here. Do it there. Don't destroy this toy. Don't destroy your bed. People go and say, I need to get tougher and tougher toys. I need to get tougher and tougher bed. No, you don't. I have beds that are perfectly preserved. I've got toys everywhere that are perfectly preserved. I teach my dog that what you just did there is inappropriate. Be gentle. Uh-uh, be gentle. If you, if you continue that, I'm going to take it away from you. 
Ah, uh -uh, no, you don't get it. I'm gonna put it away. All right? Teach them that if you destroy your your toy, the toy is gonna be taken away from you. Right? So, teach them what to do. You dig that hole? I'm gonna catch you in the act. And I'm gonna scold you. Okay. So let me talk to you about the third third factor in here is intensity appropriate correction. Okay. And at no point, at no point, is violent appropriate. Let me come. Violence and anger has no place in training. It has no tr place in dog uh, in children rearing, and there's no place in dog training. So there is no place for you to smack your dog. I mean, you know, it's okay, but any, anything more than hurt, like intentionally hurting your dog, is inappropriate. Okay, I'm saying a, in a manner that's intensely appropriate. If your dog is about to kill somebody or kill another dog. Pulling the dog up off their feet may be appropriate. Hey, s settle down. That you're gonna hurt somebody, or you can hurt me. Thank you. As soon as you desist, I'm gonna let you down. But right now, you're, you're gonna hurt somebody, and I need to make you stop. Right. So that and that is to the extent. Right. And I I actually subconsciously channeled that. Okay. Did you see any degree of violence or anger? Well, that that's unpleasant. But look, if I do anything short of that. The dog's gonna completely ignore me and, and disregard my desires and my, my, my wish to tell the dog to knock it off. But other than that, there is no anger, there's no violence. There's no, no, you can stop that. Uh -uh. Right. Now, you also have to express your disapproval. It's not like you're doing the dishes. <laughs> right. There is a degree of this. Uh uh, don't do that. Right. There is a degree of disapproval that you have to project in your energy, but. There's a difference between disapproval and anger. I'm gonna fucking hurt you. Okay, that's inappropriate. I hope that makes sense. Parenting, yeah, you know, again, I hope you don't do this to children. Same thing. You don't do it to children, you don't do it to, do it to a dog. You have intensely appropriate correction <clears throat> to tell the dog that you disapprove. Just yesterday, I caught one of my um, puppies. Um, being in a, a place that was inappropriate. He's been marking a piece of furniture, okay? I caught him in the act, he ran away. So, here's what I did. I caught up to him, got to the dog, held him, uh-uh, that is very inappropriate. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, good boy. All right. And that is the extent. I made sure he understood that it's inappropriate. Not just go away, but I finished it. I finished it. Okay. But that's the extent. And I want you to just saw how I, I, I treated that dog in the, in, in the correction. Okay. I never ever put violence or anger into the equation. I told him that's inappropriate. I made sure he understands I disapprove. But I don't hit I don't yeah unleash my anger it's inappropriate and again it's inappropriate in dealing with children and it's inappropriate to dealing with dogs I hope that makes sense and again you can apply all these strategies for anything that's inappropriate peeing in the house digging a hole barking at people whatever have intensely appropriate correction don't do that timely do this instead I hope that makes sense if, I, if what I've given you is of value, please help me by supporting what I do. By, all I need you to do is just hit the like button and hit the subscribe button in the bottom so you can get more videos from me as I release them on a regular basis. Anyway, happy holidays and I hope you have a much better, fantastic 2023.